Morning. This is our typical morning. Yuji wakes up and he works. <laughs> and then here I'm having breakfast, about to go meet my friend. He's watching the news. I hate the news. <laughs> Did you say? Happy wife day. What is, ha what is wife day? Every day. <laughs> Today I'm going to meet a friend who is coming from London. Um, she was born here, but she moved to London to open her own, she's such an inspiration, she opened her own wellness practice in um, London and she did it all by herself and she works on her own and I think that's super incredible that she's doing this all on her own. She started her own business, she's also a fellow coach and she's an expert on the concept of ikigai and other Japanese philosophies so I'm super excited to see her again today. I was really happy to reach out to her um, and meet her and um, I think we've been following each other for a really long time, but we weren't really like messaging each other. And then all of a sudden, like we started to connect on the concept of Ikigai. And she is trying so hard to spread the word that Ikigai is not what you do, it's who you are. It's your energy. It's simply to be. It's not a diagram. It's not um, a science. There are several books, and maybe you guys have read many different books on Ikigai, but none of them are actually Ikigai, not even the one that's written by Ken Mogi, which is one of the most popular ones, and then there's that blue one, I forgot the title of it, but I've read that before. All of those books have helped me so much, um, but they were never the concept of Ikigai. And I know as humans, we try to make sense of things. We try to think logically of, of what it could be and like find a meaning to it, but really it has, again, it has nothing to do with your hobbies, has nothing to do with what you do, has nothing to do with your career. And I think a lot of people put their purpose on those things. And so when those things disappear or when we get laid off or, um, I always use the example of like, what if, you know, your hobby is surfing and you become paralyzed, then what is your purpose, you know? So that's why life's purpose is simply to be, to exist. And when you exist, what type of energy do you wanna put out there no matter what you do? With my own students, I always give them a little bit of a mantra. I empower and inspire myself and others, and you can't forget about yourself. I think a lot of people think that they're here on this earth to serve all the time. You, you can't forget about yourself because you are someone that needs to feel good in order to you know serve other people my purpose is to empower and to inspire you know myself and other people um, through my voice through my actions through my creations and it has nothing to do with my career it's any any situation that i'm in i'm always going to give off that energy of inspiration and empowerment and that's just what i want to give off this is something i call like the ikigai effect because when you put out that energy of like kindness and love and whatever that may mean to you you attract that stuff too you know how do how do you want to feel i feel like ikigai is really based on your feelings and emotions. And Saudi, the girl that I'm meeting today, she talked about this um, in our podcast episode. You can actually listen to that down below. It was such a juicy podcast episode all about the real truth about Ikigai. Your work on this planet is not your career. It's not your job. Your work is to thrive, is to exist, is to be. And whatever that means to you, that's what it is and i feel like again we're always searching and we're always trying to find something but it's actually not something we find outside of us it's something that's in us kind of lift some weight off of your shoulders because it definitely did for me i knew that like no matter what i did and no matter what i tried to do or if i changed my mind on anything that i wanted to do it didn't matter because i still had purpose you know so there was no failure there was always 
um, consistent improvement. And so that kind of lifted a lot of weight off my shoulders and allowed me to really open up and explore so many different things in my life and to just go for the things that I felt drawn to regardless of what people thought. So I have to get going soon. I'm drinking coffee, which I shouldn't be drinking coffee because I'm trying to get off of coffee, but I'm doing a very bad job of it. But this is super good. It's zero sugar. I love cold brew coffee. And so that's why it's so hard to get off of coffee, especially in the summer. I always want cold brew coffee. Okay, let's go. I'm here. <laughs> We're both lost. I haven't, haven't found the front gate yet, but I'm assuming this is it because there's two. So we were a little confused, but hopefully she's here. I think that's her. I don't know. I can't tell. <laughs> Hi! You look so cute. I was like, is that her? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I can't yeah, tell. Are you? I'm sweaty. I'm so I'm sweaty. I know. I'm so excited. I brought like three cameras. <laughs> yeah? Oh, and like, yeah. I've never been here, but it looks amazing. Oh my God. This is way better than the other one yeah, that I we went to. So we're at Hama Adikyu Garden right now, and I've never been here. I'm sad that I can't step in the grass, because <laughs> usually when you come to a park, you want to like relax or like lay down or something. I know, this is so nice. Yeah, I love this. The trees in Japan are my favorite. Like, I feel like it's just, it's very different like nature compared to like where I'm from, Michigan. Like we have a lot of pine trees, but we don't have any trees like this. Like. Look at this. Ooh, I guess there used to be a house here. I love Japanese history. This is awesome. Endyo Khan was built in May 1869. Guest house for important visitors from foreign countries. It was also used for national events such as ceremony to commemorate the opening of a rail of the railway. I know there's a tea house. Maybe we can go to the tea house. Oh my god. Would you like to introduce yourself? Okay, so Kelly and I are friends. Uh, Yay. We met like last winter. Last winter? Yeah. I'm yeah. sad you don't live here, but it's cool I that know. you live in London. I, I feel like I know you for so long, but um, yeah, I live in London right now, but I grew up here and um, yeah, I have a Japanese wellness company called Mogami and um, Kelly and I met like just like last Yeah, on Instagram. We on just kind of like started chatting. I think you were following me for a long time, but we just never like chatted yeah, until exactly. recently. Yeah, exactly. And we have so much like we have We the were like liking chats. each other's posts and stuff and then I think I nudged you and I was like hi Kelly yeah I'm Japan. like I'm not a creeper like would love to chat <laughs> wait this is not a restroom can't go inside this would have been perfect for like pictures or something but you can't go inside You can kind of see it. Hi, Mr. Crow. Did you know they talk? So I ordered a matcha and like I forgot what this was called. <laughs> I ordered some matcha and dorayaki. I'm having trouble with my Japanese. Um, and it's huge. It's too big. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, did you get this in Japan? Yeah, this is from Japan. What the I know. Heck? Oh yeah, a... I've discovered some sort of tomb. Duck hunting ground. 
あかもかもね。<笑>かも。Oh, look at that. This yeah. Is you, this is how they catch them. Yeah. Wow. Wait, but what is that? <laughs> this is about oh. catching ducks. I think they wait in there. They wait in here. Like this is like their. It also says shizuka ni machimas, which is like wait quiet. <laughs> wait, they wait hand. quietly and then they just come out and they're like, Wah! Yeah, and then look. they just like catch them. Yeah, I think so. They I said, thought this was like a tube or something cool, but it's not. <laughs> well, this is something that I didn't expect. It's like a duck hunting hiding spot. Wait, is this one open? Oh, that's not open. Oh, there's a freaking big spider there. We don't want to go over there. If there wasn't a huge spider web, I would look through the little hole. Wow, I mean it's cool, but it's like, can, I'm like, I don't know how to feel. You can see there's like a little dude over there. I don't know which is the male, but I think she's into him. <laughs> I think I've read this thing before where it's like for males, they want to look large and strong. That's so true. That's what he's doing. Ooh, you're smart. Yeah, cool. <laughs> I don't know anything. And I think this girl over here, maybe she's like, I'm feeling it, maybe. <laughs> yeah. What do you think, Kelly, about like the like use of ikigai? Like, do you think like people understand like how it can help them live a more fulfilling life? Because I feel like sometimes. That's like missing. No, because I feel like a lot of people mis misinterpret it, even in Japan. Mm -hmm. Like they misinterpret it because yeah. a lot of people think that it's about what you do in your career and they pin that on their purpose. And then, you know, when they lose that job or I always use like the, the example of like if, if your hobby is like surfing mm -hmm. and then you become paralyzed, then what is your purpose? You know, like if you put all of your energy into that, then it just... It, you, you feel like you lose a piece of yourself and you you shouldn't feel that way you shouldn't feel like you lost a piece of yourself you want to live how do you want to be it's all about feeling you talked about that in the podcast yes yes and also i think like maybe another we know how the translation of ikigai is your reason for being yeah and i feel like that nuance is a mm. little bit different from mm -hmm. purpose because I think purpose can seem very to me it seems very abstract where I'm like I don't necessarily know what that means versus yeah. your reason for being is just to be and I think you mentioned that in your story the other day and I was like mm -hmm. that is such a good explanation I think as humans we try to understand it we try to put meaning to it when there really isn't like a deep 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 meaning yes yeah so when I realized that I felt like a weight lifting off my shoulder. I actually talked a little bit about this this morning before I came here, but like I felt like this weight lift off my shoulders because I wasn't feeling like I needed to keep searching for something outside of me. No, I love how you distinguish between passion and purpose because the, you need both, in my opinion, but they're not the same. And yeah. so like your passion can change over time, right? Yeah. But your reason for being is to be. And so like that's complete, like those are two separate things that I think it doesn't grasp in mm -hmm. the Venn diagram and I also think that um you know it's something that you said that it comes from within yeah and I always think that when I try to talk to my clients or try to get that message across like ikigai is something that doesn't come from here and mm -hmm. the Venn diagram if you think about it, it's just a thought right you're trying to create some kind of structure mm -hmm. but it comes from here your yeah. heart and it's like that is the crux of what ikigai is your reason mm -hmm. for being comes from within you but not from your mind but from your gut we talked about this earlier too or yeah. it's like from your heart and like that's really what can empower you the mosquitoes were telling us to stop talking because yes. <laughs> they attacked her yeah, and then they attacked me yes. <laughs> oh god so Saudi is trying to spread the word, the authenticity about what Ikigai truly is. It's not the Venn diagram you see floating around on the internet when you type in the word. Ikigai isn't a religion. It's not something you believe in or don't believe in. It simply means to be. And who you are doesn't link or isn't linked to the things that you do in life. It's all about who you are. It's literally your soul. If you have a soul, you have Ikigai. It's just about how you project that out into the universe. Ikigai isn't a science either. It's not a graph or a study. So stop trying to find your purpose because your purpose already exists within.
Okay, so after a really long hot day and like being attacked by mosquitoes and like seeing beautiful nature, of course, we're going to Italian Street. Never been here. It's like a little Italy of Tokyo, I'm assuming. There's already a really cute pizza Italian restaurant right there. It's so empty, I think, because it's like the weekday, but... Oh, okay, so we're here, and it looks... It looks like Europe. Look at this. It looks like freaking Europe. Where am I? <laughs> but there's like nothing around. Like, I know, it's that like looks awesome. abandoned, or maybe it's open later. This is so adorable, though. Like, it looks like... It looks like freaking Europe. We have to say goodbye for now. You're gonna come back to Japan though. Yeah. <laughs> yes, come back to Japan. Stay forever. <laughs> If you haven't played this, it's so fun. You only need two people, but you can play with more. So fun.